Don't worry. Shopkeeper Hal will take good care of the master. I found another confession letter in the Sioux family's dungeon. It seems the one the city lord received was written by Master Pei under duress. But if the crown was really stolen by the Sioux family, why have I never seen any related skills in the Sioux family? Could it be that their plan failed? And they didn't get the crown? Or maybe they couldn't master the skills on it? The basic skills on the Phoenix crown were mastered by my father back then. And the skills I learned were partly taught by him and partly passed down by the seniors in their leisure time. So what do you plan to do next? Seek justice from the city lord. But the master is deemed a criminal. And we don't have solid evidence to prove he was held by the Sioux family. This would undoubtedly bring disaster to the master. Now, father is a serious criminal. We can't expose him to the public and confront the Sioux family head on and to hide their crimes. The Sioux family probably won't make any moves recently. We can only ensure our safety for now. Uncle, you said this person found Pei Chu Feng by accident? Then why? Didn't she stay to investigate the evidence, nor reported to the authorities in time? Instead, she hurriedly took him away. It's clearly to protect him. I think this matter has something to do with the Pei family. If she is indeed from the Pei family, then Pei Chu Feng is most likely already at their residence. Since Pei Chu Feng is a serious criminal, why don't we report to the city lord and catch him at the Pei residence? Uncle, you forget? We never held Pei Chu Feng. So how do we know he is still alive? And if we can destroy the secret room and dungeon in time, then the Pei family can also transfer him immediately. Pei Chu Feng is a serious criminal. The Pei family wouldn't dare to act rashly without assurance. Now both our families can only turn a blind eye and pretend to be ignorant. Yes, yes, yes. I got too hasty. Come in. Young master, something happened. What now? The thugs you hired to find Miss Shuang Shuang are all dead. What? What happened? I'm not sure either. Miss Shuang Shuang hasn't been found yet, but their bodies were discovered in a West Market alley. No clue was left behind. Who could it be? Master, you don't even recognize me? What did they do to you? How much suffering and grievance have you endured? It's a pity the madam passed away and couldn't see you one last time. Do you know Shen Jingtian? Do you know who tricked him into stealing the crown? Phoenix crown. Phoenix crown. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I I didn't steal the Phoenix crown. It's okay. Didn't steal. Miss Shan, I've heard about your grudge with the Su and Pei families. I've been at the Pei residence for decades. I've seen everything. I have no right to speak out. But now that the master is alive, I want to say a few words for him. When the Phoenix crown was lost, the city lord's post was in jeopardy. And Yunkwai city was in danger. But at that moment, Suyu Pavilion presented a substitute Phoenix crown, which saved Yunkwai city and brought them immersed fame. But think about it. How could they possibly make such a phoenix crown for the royal family in just a few days? Obviously, this was premeditated. Now we found the master in the Sioux family dungeon, 
the real mastermind behind all this. Miss Shuang Shuang, you're smart. I think I don't need to say more. Sister, I know you've been bearing all this alone all these years. We are family. You still have me. From now on, I won't let you bear this alone. And I believe we can definitely find evidence to clear your father's and my father's names. Right now, Sujue already knows. My father is at our place. They will definitely try to cause trouble. We should hide father first, and then make a long-term plan. But now that Chipe Pavilion has fallen, who would take this intractable matter? How about staying at my place? Your place? Dandan and I have a quiet house in West Alley. Although it's a bit shabby, it's still livable. Then I'll move there with the master. With me there, the master will be taken care of. Thank you. You're awake. Shuang Shuang. Are you okay? Of course I'm fine. But you... Why did you fight them? I... I was worried about you. Wanted to be your protector. At a time like this, you still have the mood to joke? <sighs> My legs. I've already contacted the best doctor. He'll be here soon. My legs are hard to heal, right? Don't say such discouraging words. Dr. Q is the best doctor. He will have a way. Even if my legs can't be healed, it's worth it to exchange my legs. For your safety, don't blame yourself. Thank you. Please. Dr. Q. Let me take a look. Young master, if my legs can't be healed, I might not be able to serve you in the future. Don't talk nonsense. If your legs are really crippled, I'll serve you for the rest of your life. All his leg bones are shattered. What should we do now? I can only set the bones by hands. Then after he can barely stand. He'll need to exercise. Only then can he recover. First, his bone fractures are quite severe. I can only rely on touch to set the bones. I can't guarantee they'll be perfectly aligned. Even if he can stand up, he might still limp in the future. Second, the pain of setting shattered bones is unbearable for most people. He will suffer a lot. You are a doctor, Shuang Shuang trusts. I trust you too. Let's begin. He can't bear to watch this. Ladies, please give me a hand. All right. I won't set it. I won't treat it. Let go of me! Kill me! It hurts! It hurts. Liu, you must hold on. 
It hurts. I won't treat it. I won't treat it. Let go of me. Let go of me. It hurts. All right. Let me check his pulse. How is it? Don't worry, it's very successful. By the way, I think I found it. Could this be the legendary water agate amber? That's right. It completely disappeared with the missing phoenix crown. I didn't expect you've been wearing it all along. Why is this amber encased in alum? I heard from my mother that this amber is extremely precious. If exposed for too long, it will oxidize, forming a pebbly surface. Because of this, my father used glass as a shell to encase it before placing it on the phoenix crown. The top of the phoenix crown was designed to be detachable, so it could be removed at will by the emperor. The glass shell must have been shattered, so it got encased in alum. I never expected. Guards out to hide it on Dandan. Dan. All these years, I've been searching for the other half of the crown and its decorations. Now it seems ridiculous. If I'm not mistaken, with the loss of the water agate amber, the other half of the phoenix crown must have been lost in the wild during the fight back then. Or it's with... The Sioux family. They've had the phoenix crown all along, but couldn't figure it out. And caused other families ruin. It's truly hateful. How is he? He took the medicine I prescribed and fell asleep. You can rest assured now. Great kindness cannot be thanked enough. I'm bowing to you here. You silly girl. How many times have I told you no need to thank me? Dr. Q, I have another request for you. What is it? There's another patient who needs your help. I've exhausted myself today. I'll go back and rest first. Let's discuss this tomorrow. All right, then I will visit you tomorrow. Thank you. You want him to treat Master Pei's madness? You know me well, sister. Can it really be cured? Let Dr. Q give it a try. If even he can't do it, then there's truly no hope. The finesse of this blade work. Hard to believe it's only been practiced for a few months. I've spent my entire life on this. Where am I falling short? How is it? Young master, just as you said, someone was indeed sent out from Pei residence overnight. But when they reached the North Alley, they split into two groups. The paths in the alleys are complex. The hired men lost them. Useless. Calm down, young master. We've already confirmed they're in that area. Our men are searching overnight. We should find them soon. Once found, kill them! Yes. Pei Pei. Your mistake. 
was standing against me every step of my way. How is it? Come, let's sit and talk. This is due to prolonged exposure to extreme cold and dampness. The moisture has affected his heart, plus he suffered a big shock, leading to a mental breakdown. Is there a way to treat him? I can use acupuncture to expel the coldness from his body. Once his meridians are open, if we can stimulate him again with something that makes him panic and collapse. He might regain his sanity. Sometimes sufferings could treat people. Is it dangerous? There's no life-threatening danger. But if it fails, his mental state might worsen. My father has always been a proud man. If he had to choose, He'd rather take the risk, than live like this. The acupuncture is complete. Next, stimulate his mind. Doctor, please. Father? Father? I'm Pei Pei. I'm Pei Pei, your son. Do you remember me, father? Father, I'm Pei. Look at me. It seems not enough. Maybe I have a way. This is the legendary Moon Phoenix Crown? This. Father, look at it. Do you recognize this? You are hard to kill. Didn't die from this. Still alive. Then let's make the best use of you. Hungry? Eat this then! <laughs> Master. Master. Father. 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 What's happening? Nothing serious? He's just fainted. Let him lie down first. I'm 
truly sorry. I've done my best. This was our choice. It's not your fault. Will the master be in any danger? He's weakened. He'll need careful nurturing to recover his strength. But his life isn't in danger. Please rest assured. You've worked hard today. Please go back and rest. I'll see you out. Farewell. Take care. Don't worry. The master will be fine. Let me do it. The master devoted his life to his work. Only to end up like this. Now he no longer needs to worry about these affairs. Maybe it's a relief for him too. Pay. 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 Father, I'm here. Pay. Father, come. <coughs> I'm Pay. Do you recognize me? You've grown so much. Father. Pay. Father. Liu, time to eat. Thank you. Shuang Shuang, I'm really happy to see you back with us. <laughs> to be honest, I... Master Pei to not only come back alive, but also recover from his madness. It's truly a miracle. Yes. At times like this, I wish I could help. But now I'm bedridden. I can't do anything. Just focus on your recovery. Don't worry about anything else. Who's there? Were you sent by Su Jue? Father, let's eat. Master, take it slow. Come, Master, sit. Who is this? I'm Dandan from Kipei Pavilion. Father, Dandan is now the chief shopkeeper of Kipei Pavilion, and she's also my fiancé. Sit. Good. Good. More importantly, she's the daughter of Gua Zhao. What? Dandan is Gua Zhao's daughter. Back then, Guard Zhao lost his life protecting me. Now that you can join our Pei family, perhaps it's God giving me a chance to repay him. Come, let's eat. Dun Dun. You're back. Are you guys okay? We're fine. Come sit and eat. Is everything arranged for Liu? Thank you. Pei, who is this lady? This is Shuang Shuang. Her father is Shan Jingtian, who was deceived back then to steal the Phoenix Crown. What? 
how many innocent people were involved in that incident, the more hateful thing is that all these years, these children have been innocently entangled. There are some things I shouldn't say in front of the children, but I can't hold it in anymore. 18 years ago, Sujian, for his own gain, came to steal the Phoenix Crown. He didn't expect after so much trouble, he gained nothing. And the Phoenix Crown ended up broken and scattered among the people. If I have to blame someone, I can only blame the Su family for being heartless. Unexpectedly, even after getting the Phoenix Crown, the Su family didn't stop. They kept spreading rumors, saying I stole it myself. They even controlled the commercial lifeline of Kipei Pavilion, threatening me and forcing Pei to withdraw from the Jade Carving Competition. Pei, back then it was my cowardice. I failed you. Father. In the end, Sujue's uncle, Wang Jiu, set me up in an inn. And I was imprisoned for over 10 years. These years, I've been barely surviving in there. I wished I had died. Father, those things are all in the past. Let's not mention them anymore. Now that the family is reunited, let's have a good meal first. Don't worry. I won't let the evildoers get away with it. All right. Come. Father, you eat first. Dan Dan, you guys go inside. Stay safe. <laughs> Sister, are you okay? I'm fine. They must be sent by Sue to kill Master Pei. I just subdued one. But like the others afraid of exposing their identity, they killed themselves. This place is exposed. Where do we go now? Back to the Pei residence. By the mandate of heaven, the Lord of Yunqui City, please receive the decree. Useless. You can't even kill a dying old madman. Why do I keep you around? Forgive me, young master. I never expected there's such a martial master there. It's my negligence. Don't give me that crap. You tell me, what do we do now? Young master, the city lord is urgently summoning you. Keep searching, if there's another mistake. You can die along with those dead men. Greetings, City Lord. Rice. May I ask why you urgently summoned us? This. That's right. The Empress is critically ill, but she's been longing for the Moon Phoenix crown from that year. Says not having the crown has always been her regret. The messenger sent an urgent decree by the Emperor, ordering us to quickly restore the Moon Phoenix crown from the original blueprint to fulfill the Empress's long-cherished wish. My lord, back then, Pei Chufeng stole the Phoenix crown. After that, didn't our Su family deliver another crown on time? Indeed, your Su family delivered a substitute in time back then, saving us from the Emperor's punishment. But you must know, the Empress wasn't satisfied with the Moon Phoenix crown. After a few days, she threw it into the storage. She didn't even wear it on her birthday banquet. That's the royal palace. They have all sorts of rare items. We can't just make do with anything. But my lord, even back then, Pei Chu Feng led many master craftsmen, and it still took months to create the Moon Phoenix crown. Now the Empress is critically ill and time is tight. I'm afraid. This is an order, no discussion. <sighs> it's quite ironic that our Yunqui city only has your Suyu pavilion to rely on now. 
No matter what method you use, you must quickly recreate a new crown. Otherwise, your Suyu Pavilion's reputation will be taken down. Yes. I will send the blueprint to your place. Start immediately. Do not delay. If you miss the Imperial Mandate, no one will escape responsibility. Yes. Yes. Go. <laughs> Be careful. How is it? One, two, three. Careful, careful. How is it? Does it work well? Look, it works great. <laughs> Master? Father. Master! I can't bow to you, due to my injured legs. No need. We are in the difficult situation now, going through hardship together. There's no hierarchy between us. Father is right. We are all one family now. No need for formalities. <laughs> Father, how is your health? I'm fine. No problem. I spent my whole life striving. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Master, life is like that. Ups and downs, highs and lows. Sometimes you have, sometimes you don't. That's what makes life interesting. My favorite saying is, fighting and striving is endless joy. Life is long. What's destined to come will come. It's just a pity that Xiang Jun is no longer with us. <sighs> All right, let's not talk about this. Today, I will personally cook for you all. But father, your health. It's fine. It's not hard labor. Besides, do you really think your father is useless? How long has it been since you've tasted my cooking? Great, great, great. I'll go help. I'm not useless either. Young master, you haven't slept all night? How is it? We studied the blueprint all night. The jade carving is extremely detailed, and the hollow partitions are almost invisible. With our skills, we simply can't do it. Unless... Unless what? Unless we have the finest raw stones, no matter how we cut it, it wouldn't lose its luster, nor break... Are you talking about the stone from the myth? Throughout the world, where are there better raw stones than Suyu Pavilion? What use are you all if you can't do it? How about the gold and silver work? Please. Young Master, one third of the Phoenix Crown, uses the inlay technique left by Miss Shan. Our skills may not be as refined as hers, but it's barely enough. The key is the pearl embedding and edge melding techniques. We really can't figure it out. Useless. All of you are useless. Young Master Su, don't just lose your temper. The City Lord gave a limited time. You need to think of another solution quickly. I am thinking. It doesn't look like you are thinking. You look like a child playing house. The recreation of this Phoenix Crown affects the safety of all Yunchui City. You better take it seriously. Do I need your advice on what to do? <laughs> Let go. Um, our young master is under too much pressure these days. His nerves are extremely tense. Please calm down. We're all working towards the same goal. Don't take it to heart. Calm down. Shh. 
Yeah, he's the city lord's man. Why get angry with him? I don't care whose man he is. What does he know? Criticizing here. All right, all right. I know you're under pressure. But we need to find a way to solve this problem first. Have we found a replacement for the Amber on the crown? I contacted Boss Chin. He found a large source. Says he found a pearl worth a fortune. It's on the way. Good. Stay calm. <gasps> all right, all right. I'll go check on it. 